Yo, what is going on guys? It's Hatchets here and today we have some major news for the first big Cold War patch that has been employed by Treyarch and Activision. So basically, they sent out this update. It was around a 3 gigabyte update yesterday and they basically nerfed a bunch of stuff. So we're going to be talking about what they nerfed in Dimashina and specifically in Cold War Zombies. So we're going to begin with a ray gun and they actually upped the ammo cost for a replenish throughout the ammo crates from 5,000 to 10,000. This really doesn't matter because you already have so many points if you employ the high round strategy and basically if you guys don't know what I'm talking about if you do in fact live underneath a rock I mean Noah J and a bunch of other high round famous youtubers have been showing the strategy so if you don't know what it is simply put I'll show you guys some of Sulky's gameplay and basically you go on top of knocked there's two spawns and you spam the ring of fire and the ray gun what allows it to happen is the ring of fire gives you some insane amount of damage and points while you're in it and it allows you to take ammo from the stock of the ray gun instead of the magazine so you actually don't have to reload it and you can spray it for up to 30 seconds you get all these kills it recharges the ring of fire you use it again and it just basically spawn kills and you rack up a bunch of points and you never run out of ammo so it's an insane way to go into high rounds lots of youtubers have been breaking an insane amount of records doing this i think people have gone to like round 500 but basically what they did in this patch and by the way it was was unintentional as I've seen through Treyarch tweets is they took away the stock ability so you had to reload from your magazine but they did say at the same time after many people tweeted at them complained like they got a whole horde of complaints and basically a bunch of people saying why would you do this to zombies and all that type of stuff they said that it was unintentional and that it should be restored within the new patch so that means that you can take ammo from the stock once again from the ray gun once they send out a new patch with any bug glitches. So we're going to move on to other aspects of this patch and as a part of stability they fixed a crash that could occur when perks did not properly match up with the player's upgraded perk skills. They fixed a crash that occurred when picking up perk cans that really sucks so imagine that you get a free perk out of the dance party thing and your whole game crashes. They added various stability fixes and there's like minor bug fixes as well. They address an issue that prevented attachments from applying to certain weapons. They addressed an issue that caused certain weapons such as the ray gun to be lost when being revived. Guys, the ray gun is so rare that I couldn't even imagine losing it after being revived after taking it down. I'd be so mad. Like I've hit the box over 500 times. Maybe like the past week, I have not gotten the ray gun. I've been playing this game nonstop and I have not gotten the ray gun once. So if I lost it in that way, that would really suck. For progression wise, they addressed an issue with the incorrect icon displaying when reaching prestige one. One, they addressed an issue that caused weapon XP to be earned on weapons used by teammates. Basically, all these different patches and fixes for minor bugs. They also patched the camo glitch that gave you all the camos. And basically, it was just a whole bunch of patches to multiple aspects. I know they also patched the Ether Shroud glitch where you could literally enter God mode and be outside of the map. For the next part of the video, I actually wanted to discuss how certain weapons don't do any damage, like certain ARs and stuff with the new point system it's really frustrating because if you take it down in a later round or you decide oh i want to switch my loadout you literally can't even use uh like an ar take the ak-74u for example so i picked that up in a really late round maybe round 35 that's like a mid round that's not even late and what had happened was with the new point system you can only get points if you kill and i wasn't able to get any kills so i actually traded out my triple papped shotgun for this ak-74u you. It was legendary actually out of the box. I was like, you know what? AK-74U is quite the iconic gun from Call of Duty. Let me give it a try. I'll pack a punch at once. Guys, this went nowhere but downhill. I was unable to kill any zombies. Any points that I did accumulate, I had to go and use those to buy back max ammos and stuff from the storage boxes that give you ammo. And it was just an endless cycle of losing points and me being unable to kill zombies. So maybe I was able to kill a zombie every once in a while and then the megaton would run around and I literally couldn't do any damage to it. So it was just like havoc and mayhem. Like it was just constant training. 
staying on rounds for like 30 minutes for no reason because the weapon can't do any damage. So the problem is you guys cannot start a new weapon and completely ditch everything that you have like you used to be able to because you could rack up points so easily. Like if I was shooting into that horde in Black Ops 3 like that, I would have racked over 30,000 points up, but I was unable to because of the new point system. You have to get kills. So there's a big problem with that. And I hope that Treyarch can come out with some sort of buff to that. Maybe they lower the pack a punch amount because it just doesn't make sense. If you take it down, you're literally screwed. It's game over for you because you cannot afford to pack a punch to higher tiers or get salvage even or get C4, Semtex, any of that. You can't even build lethals, tacticals, any of that because you won't get salvaged from killed zombies. So that's a major problem that I think they need to fix. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.